What's up guys, Eric740T with Eric's RC channel. I just wanted to do another kind of quick tip of the day. <clears throat> Storaging, putting your LiPos in storage mode. Basically, the target voltage of each cell for storage mode is 3.8 volts. So, that being said, if you have a one cell, your storage voltage, you're going to want to put at 3.8 volts. Uh, a two cell, 7.6 volts and a three cell would be 11.4 volts is your store your target storage voltage um, above that you know you can do the math uh, what the, the purpose of this is if you leave them fully charged and you let them sit in storage for a while uh, what happens is you, you can damage the cells they become puffy they won't um, continue to hold their maximum current their maximum uh, storage capacity and basically you just name it your battery so storage mode helps prevent that and help protect that and I would recommend probably storage mode um, and I've been guilty of not doing it and ruining packs before but I'd recommend storage voltage um, if you pl don't plan on flying with that pack for probably two to three days um, probably within that range you're okay but you know just put them in storage mode uh, if you're using a smart charger whether it be the IMAX B6 AC like I'm using or Eternity AccuCell, Ace, AccuCell 6 or whatever other how many millions of smart chargers are on the market uh, as you can see I'm charging a 3 cell 11.4 volts is the target it was charging it up because it was lower than that so uh, that's really the point of the video and all the the uh, chargers that I mentioned have a storage mode so you put it in you go to storage and then you start it up and it will put it into the storage it will charge it to the storage capacity or discharge it to the storage capacity depending on what you need um, I recently ruined a 2200 a couple of them 2200 zippies because I did not put them in storage capacity my Eternity 3.3's 3300's are still perfectly fine because I did have them in storage capacity and I had them stored for a good few months so even in a few months you can ruin a lithium polymer battery without having it stored at the right voltage so I hope you guys find this useful and take care